knowing that somebody is there making sure that my money that I put in any scheme is safe, is protected. So one of the main objectives was to safeguard the interests of the members. Now what this means is that the moment members interests are safeguarded, their rights are protected, it then boils down to growth of the sector. Now, what we've seen in the last 10 years is that the sector, the, the assets under management, have more than tripled. So within a span of 10 years, we're seeing a lot of efficiency in terms of members are able to get their benefits, they are able to access more information about their schemes. More importantly is the professionalism that has been injected in the sector. There has been a deliberate effort to build trust because the foundation is strong, it can be trusted, and again the investment structures are very solid, so which means they encourage the growth of the market, the growth of the portfolio, and also provide the positive returns that we see to date. The last one that is significant, which I've seen Ubra doing, is promoting transparency. So to a member, that information creates trust within the member because you are saying there's nothing I'm hiding. This is how we run the scheme in the year. There were 13 meetings and uh, this member of the board out of 13, he attended three. In the saving schemes, there was no trust. There was no confidence. There was a lot of risk. Even the savers could not know how much their contribution is where. Okay? In other words, everything was in a disarray without any regulator. I think as well, um, looking generally at the business environment, um, you rarely now see complaints of people stating that the funds that they thought they had in their names have disappeared or have been paid to the wrong person. And all this is just because of the supervisory role that Ubra has brought in, which has been pivotal in making us run a world-class pension sector in Uganda. There are three parts to any pension system. There's the contributions or collections of pensions, there is the management of the pensions or the investment of these pension savings, and then there's the payment of these pension savings, either through a lump sum or through monthly payments. We have had a shared responsibility with Ubra for the past 10 years in the aspect of management of the savings through investments uh, because many of the fund managers whom we license are also licensed by Ubra. Although Ubra focuses a lot more on the pensions, the retirement savings that they uh, manage. So we have done this role together, we've had this shared role. The synergies we have drawn from this partnership have been very beneficial and we look forward to continuing to work together with uh, Ubra in the future. We see growth in number of schemes in this market. Today we are talking of 65 schemes. In the past we are talking of three uh, schemes that were established by an act of parliament. That is the public service pension scheme, the parliamentary pension scheme and the NSSF. All of them established by an act of parliament. More importantly is to say that the journey that Ubra has... And actually in this period in time that's when the sector has witnessed high returns to the members, double-digit returns for the last five years or thereabout. So, in my opinion, that is trust from the general public that we are doing the right thing, and we hope that we continue to do that. In the next years, what I would like to really see going forward is the spread of coverage, because the pension sector as it is now is really in the formal sector. And when you look at the working population of Uganda, if you even put it at around 20 to 25 million, the working population, not even 3 million, are covered by pensions. I think my main message to Ubra is, first of all, to thank uh, the CEO, Mr. Martin Nsubuga, and his team for supporting their pension reforms that have taken place so far, but also to remind the team that there's still some work to be done. Uh, it's not over, there's still some reforms that need to be done, particularly in the area of limiting access to long-term savings. So Martin and team, please don't rest. There's still some more work to be done to grow the domestic savings base of this country. We feel that as a committee, UBRA needs to make itself more visible in, in Uganda, place itself, let the people of Uganda know what they're doing, let the people of Uganda know why they should save 
for retirement. If you were to ask me what should Ubra's next 10 years focus on, I would say that Ubra's next 10 years should be to now build this 20 trillion asset base that um, has been generated should actually be able to ensure a comfortable life in retirement for all members who are in the retirement schemes but Ubra should also then allow and come up with mechanisms to support the players to be able to onboard all the small holders all the informal sector to come in and secure their retirement by participating and joining the licensed pension schemes in the market and so my thinking is that we need to support the institution, particularly Parliament of the Republic of Uganda, needs to support resource mobilization for allocation to the authority so that the authority can continue with the widening the coverage. People now, instead of keeping money in boxes, will keep here and it is in the financial sector and it's easy to tap in. And the cost of money will go down, but other investment in the country will go high. And I can tell you if you make very good regulations, we have the support of Parliament. I believe that the next 10 years are quite pivotal. We've gone through uh, the best building of the industry and right now we are at the point where we have to be tasked with generating value for our clients and exhibiting relevance over the next 10 years. I'm very, very confident. In fact, I'm, I'm really proud of, of the work that has been done for the last 10 years and my imagination runs wild. Uh, what what is possible for the next 10 years and um the other key achievement that uh, or work in progress that ubra is trying to do which i again encourage different stakeholders in this sector particularly parliament to support ubra is the the 